Hey, hi guys. So today we're going to look at the Buimba and how to string it up and tune it. And a few details for beginners to follow if they're struggling with stringing up the Buimba especially. It's really quite annoying when you first start and you can't string the thing up. Uh, I couldn't do it when I started. It took me a few months to learn and then I managed to do it and it was, it was okay. Then after that I started to refine how I strung it up until I got to the position that I am today. It's a nice method that works for me. Different people will do it in different ways. So this is my brewing bar, one I made. Someone cut the wood for me, a friend of mine in Bahia, and he gets the wood from uh, a place near Rio Paraguaçu in the uh, Bahia of All Saints, Salvador. So, how to string it up. First of all, when you make it, you need to make sure that it's the, the, the correct place. You know, I've seen this, this, it's just got a little twist here, a little bend here. So, you just, you just check it naturally before you put your leather on. When you make it, so you put the string in the correct position, and then it will fall naturally. So this part here as well, you don't want this to be too too long, coming right down here with the wire, because then when you string it up, you have to wrap it around a lot. So some people say that affects the sound. You want maybe two and a half to three and a half turns of the wire around the top to hold the balloon bar. Okay, so you've got the wire the correct length, yeah, and you just hold it like this, okay, and you pull, okay, with the arm and not push with the knee. Yeah, and then here I just wrap the string around, okay? Using that technique, I swapped hands. And I pull it tight, you see? And you hold it with one hand. So now I'm holding it just with this hand, you see? It's not strung up, it's still loose. That allows you to then use this hand to tie this in. And I tie it tight. And there's no knot, just one, can you see that? Just one, and the broom bell holds itself. Yeah, sometimes it slips, but after I've done that, I can relax, and I go along and put one more, the same. Quite tight, pulling it, makes your hands strong as well, another thing. Okay, you can see that? It's almost horizontally wrapped around the top and the and then you just check that that's not going to slip. You don't want to slip after you tuned it. And it will normally just ting and slip a little. After that it shouldn't do anymore. Okay? You can tell the, the tone you're getting before you put the kabasa. I can hear that. I think you can hear that too. Okay, so that's the, the tune. I will then adjust that if I want to. But normally I leave it where I first put it. Maybe I slightly adjust it, that's not quite true. Often I loosen it a bit. But it's better to overstring the balloon bow using this method. It's easy to then loosen it. Okay? And then you put the kabasa on and you just pull this in so it doesn't cut the string and put the kabasa on. And that will pick up the sound of the wood. 
push it through the kibasa. Okay? And that's it. Then you check the sound. If it's something you like. You might want to move that up a bit. It's a bit ringy, but we could adjust that later. If I wanted, I'm quite happy with that now, because I'm not, I don't have another boom bar. So you might need to adjust these when you're putting three boom bars together. You can't, yeah, well, you can, but you, it's better not just to string them up and leave them anywhere. You try to find a balance in the sound, like a chord. I'm going to loosen this just slightly and you can hear it go and with this method normally it won't slip much so I've adjusted this slightly and that was just for the purposes of this video so you can get to see what I do uh, the other thing is where you put this will change the sound for now we leave it about here just for this video okay the other thing is when you cut the kibasas you want to make sure that the angle here when the tip is leaning slightly forward that this can lean close flat on your stomach Okay, Let's see if that's clear. You see the way that this kibas is on, if I hold this up straight, you see that this is slightly angled, which has a gap here, but when I hold it properly, it closes. Okay, this detail of opening and closing the kibasa is quite important. You don't want to be opening it too much. You want to have control of this hand so that the boom bar doesn't waver about because it does affect the sound. 